Okay, so CS50 is the introduction to game development. This is assignment zero, uh, Pong, adding the uh, AI changes. So um, let's just drag that onto a lab there. So this is one of the changes I've made. You press A to play against the computer. The game starts as normal. And what it does, the player two paddle just matches the Y axis of the ball pretty much all the time. So that's the change I've made. Uh, one uh, other thing which I've actually retained, not so much changed, is just the ability to still have two players <coughs> as normal. So I'm um, looking at the code, um, line 54, I've added an AI mode flag, just a boolean, default to false. Go down to line 247, 248. Um, if we're in AI mode, then match the y-axis of the ball with the player 2 paddle. Otherwise, continue as normal from the uh, course. And if we go down a little further, um, when a key is pressed, we just check if the key is A and the game state is on the start screen. If we remove this, I thought it'd be pretty cool because you can introduce the AI mode, say if your friend disappears, so you can kind of continue. Um, and also to make that kind of tie in, I've added this extra piece here, which just says if the uh, user enters the enter key, the return key, or the key A, then we can proceed as normal. So that helps us with our A key there. So yeah, they're pretty much the changes I made. Uh, it was quite fun getting it going. I've uploaded it all to Git. Um, I thought uploading it to Git in Windows was really tricky with the information available. Um, so I thought that could be improved a bit. Otherwise, the content of the course was uh, pretty fun. So thank you for that.